Hey, what is up guys? Trex here, and welcome to the final episode of Terraria 1.2 with GXW. We are back for the last time in our 1.2 Let's Play world, and we're almost done with this. We are, this is the, our last time together in this house for either ever or a very long time, and, unless I ever revisit the world, but... Yeah, so I'm never going back there. I'll be there. I'll be back there at the end of the episode. But after this episode, we're never going back. It's kind of sad, cause I've spent. I think. Let me think here. I reached 400 hours. I reached 500 hours. I've I've spent like, almost 300 hours in this world. Um, that's like half of my Terraria, uh, playtime on Steam. And to think that half of that is on is just sheer, uh, sheerly in this world with YouTube, with my viewers, with you guys, it's incredible. It's yeah, 1.3 comes out tomorrow, 1 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time, I believe. But yeah, we're gonna leave this all behind. We're gonna start from nothing, and the series is going to be slightly different. Um, it's not going to. Be, I'm not going to ruin the series. It's going to be slightly different. Like I, it, we're going to do some things differently. We're not going to have one giant house, probably little themed houses for our NPCs eventually. We'll do a lot more building instead of just trying to get through the game. Uh, since 1.3 is going to be Red's last update, the next update's not going to be for a while. And so um, we're going to be able to do a lot more in that world and such, but I just can't wait for 1.3. I think the series even though it's going to be slightly different, I think it's going to be infinitely, um, it's going to be so much better than this series, and I just can't wait, I'm so excited for it, but, yeah, it's, it's, it's a bittersweet, but anyways, we, we have one last thing to do, quickly, before the sun goes down, we have one last thing to do, we have to fight the Frost Moon, and now, if we can beat the Ice Queen, who is the final boss of the Frost Moon, then we, then that's, be, that's like beating the Frost Moon, and I'll count it. And we'll be done with Terraria 1.2 forever, and we'll go on to 1.3. And so, I created this arena, um, and I'll show you guys what it's like. We have this timer over here. We have a little safe house with honey, and a loot chest, and a fire, and a thing, and teleporter teleporters, and a spawning platform with flame traps. I'm going to show you guys the insane wiring. That I did. Look at all this wiring. I had to buy more wrenches, but look at all this. And it's all timed and everything. And I, I spent about five hours on this yesterday. And so, yeah, it doesn't look like five hours of work, but it took me a while. But anyways, I believe it is time that we get going. So I'm just going to hop in here real quick and start the timer. All right, so now we're in our safe house. That teleports me right to the safe house. And now it might get a bit loud because there's flame traps down there killing things. But what we have to do is we have to spawn the frost moon and we have to beat the ice queen and we should be able to mostly oh I should start my timer of the slime invincibility thing and then that also gives us damage to summon pumpkin heads to do additional damage to the things but anyways we have to fight we have to beat the ice queen I'm going to turn that on these sound effects real quick because I can't hear myself don't know why everything's so loud just turn it down a bit turn it down a bit there we go okay there we go Alright, so now we just have to wait for night and for the frost moon to spawn, and then we'll do some more sentimental talking later. But anyways, um, I believe we're almost there. I have all my weapons. Oh, last episode, between the time I got an ice spring, so I replaced Iggy the penguin with this little ice spring. I would ask you guys what we should name it, but we're not going to have another episode of Terraria 1.2. So this is the first and last time you guys will meet our little ice spring, who I will call... Iggy version 2, Iggy Prime. Not Iggy Azalea. We don't affiliate with Iggy Azalea. She's weird. But anyways, we're almost to the final objective of Terraria 1.2. This has taken 105 episodes to reach. This is the farthest I've ever come in Terraria. And yeah, I'm, I'm ready. Hopefully you guys are ready. But anyways, I think it's about time. Let's do this. Dang it, I really tried to have that in sync with the start of the, with the starting night, but it looks like night is going to come in just a second. And then we'll have nine minutes to 
beat the Frost Moon, I'm gonna hold my Vampire Knives because that gives me Critical Strike. Um, I think that gives me... I'll hold my Horseman's Blade, it gives me the same amount. But anyways, Night is upon us. Dang it. Come on. Come on, Knight. Speed up. Speed up. I really want to get... I really want to get this insane. Anyways, guys. Night is upon us. It's time to begin the Frost Moon. Okay, nothing really. It doesn't take this long to get to Night, Terraria. Uh, we're so close. The sky is dark. Just started already. Come on. I want to fight my Santa NK1s and my Frost Queens. Anyways, guys. It's time to begin the Frost Moon Invasion because night is finally upon us. In five. Oh, there we go. Frost Moon. Okay. Um, here we go. Hold our. Okay, we are dishing out damage. The first wave is upon us. Zombie Elf and Gingerbread Man. They are going to get incinerated in the lava on our spawning platform with spear traps and with the flame traps. Wave two, the zombie elf and elf archer. Wave three, oh wow, we have already passed to the third wave. Wave four, Everstream, zombie elf, elf archer, gingerbread man. I'm sorry you guys can't see this, but we're doing so much better than we ever did um, with our old farm. We're gonna send in some pumpkin minions to dish out some massive amounts of damage. Let's watch this Everstream. He's trying to hit us with these needles, but he is not going to prevail because we are smart. Oh, and he is doing... He is getting damage done with to him. Dead. There he goes. Oh, he is just getting eviscerated. Wave 6. Everscream, Elf Archer, Nutcracker, and Elf Copter. I have these spear traps above me to take out with uh, the Elf Copter. And I can also use my, um, uh, my pumpkin sword to send in pumpkin minions. This slime thing, by the way, is a slime in invincibility device. Because you have one damage going to you at all times, you can't have more damage. Um, you can't have damage stacked onto you. And I have honey for additional regen, uh, a heart lantern for regen, and a campfire re for regen. But anyways, what wave are we on? Wave 7? Alright, let's send in some pumpkin minions to deal with this ever scream. He's down to 5.5 thousand health. We are still alive in the Pumpkin Moon, partly because we're in this safe box, or sorry, the Frost Moon, partly because we're in the safe box, and we have Spear Traps, and we're not in the action, but we will beat the Frost Moon. This is the last thing we have to do, and by darn it, I'm going to beat the Frost Moon. AFK, slightly cheaty and questionable or not, we will beat Terraria 1.2 and go headfirst into 1.3. Everstream is dead. That's not wave 8. Uh, Santan K1, let's send in a few pumpkin minions to deal with him. Okay, come on, slime invincibility. I don't want presents. Don't give me presents, Mom! Yep, see, that should have done damage to us, but because we have these slimes damaging us, um, we're not going to be injured. Yep, look at that. The slime invincibility thing is actually working. I didn't know that would actually work. The Santa NK1 is giving us some trouble. He has to die before we can reach the next wave. So let's send in some more pumpkin minions. And dang it. There we go. Wave 8 Santa NK1. Elfcopter, Elf Archer, Nutcracker, and Krampus. Come on. When do we get the Ice Queen? We have to beat the Ice Queen. The Ice Queen is going to determine whether or not we defeat Terraria 1.2. Um... The Santa NK1 is almost dead. Krampus is down there. We should also get some good loot from this, but that doesn't matter because we're going to be done with this world. Oh, by the way, guys, since we're th since this is the final episode, there will be one more world download and Alex character download for you guys to have so that you can have a good old batch of that Forrest Gump nostalgia that we all like. But there will be a download in the description below for you guys to enjoy all my... 300 hours in this world will be at your fingertips to explore and explode and uh, re recollect and but most likely explode um, or make vast improvements on everything I've built because I'm terrible at building things anyways so hope hopefully you guys will enjoy that new world download 
Let's see, what is the next wave? Wave 9, I believe that the Frost Queen starts appearing in wave 11. Wave 9, Santa K1, Everscream, Nutcracker, Elfcopter, and Gingerbread Man. We are not halfway through the night yet, and we are, like, on wave 9, which is good, probably. Um, hello, Mr. Everscream. What's that? That's Krampus. There's the Santa K1, and Krampus has fallen. Um, just like Olympus. Just like Olympus, White House has fallen is down. Those movies came out at the same time and have the exact same plot, essentially. Except one has Jamie Foxx and the other's... Oh, wait, no. One is Morgan Freeman, the other is Jamie Foxx. That's the only difference. Um, you guys know it's true. They're the exact same movie. CinemaSins did a review on it. Our spike traps and flame traps are working their magic. This Everscream is going down. The... Santa NK1, if I can select him, he is also going down. But we're halfway through the Frost Moon, it looks like. Um, we just need to beat the Ice Queen. Where is the Ice Queen? Is she here yet? Um, oh, wait, no. Hold the Pumpkin Sword. We want that Critical Strike. Because Critical Strike sti um, stacks onto the uh, Spear Traps. Oh, I didn't bring the right accessories. Accessories. Oh well. Oops. Should have brought my accessories. My proper accessories. Oh well. Um, if we survive the night as well. Let's see, we have to beat Wave Ten, and whenever the Frost Queen coming. Wave Ten. Santa King One. Ever Scream. Krampus. Zombie Elf. An Elf. Hol helicopter. I believe the Ice Queen comes in on Wave Eleven. I'm going to check the Terraria Wiki real quick on my mobile device. And make sure that that is the case. But anyways, um, Santa and Everstream are dying. Alright, alright. We are dishing out that damage. Slime Invincibility is doing its thing. We are holding strong. The Frost Moon is over halfway done. But let's see here. Um, Ice Queen. When does the Ice Queen come in? We have to beat her. The Ice Queen... Yes, the Ice Queen. Thank you, Terraria Wiki. The Ice Queen comes in on stage. I don't know. Are we the first man? Are we the drop rate? I don't know. We'll just see. We're almost on wave 11. If I think she's on wave 11. She is the first to leave, though, so we have to beat her. Um, we'll send in lots of pumpkin minions at her. And I'll probably go out and fight her myself, actually. We'll just see. But anyways, let's uh, finish killing this Santa and this Everscream. They're dying. They need to be dying quicker, though, so that we can reach the next wave. We should be reaching the next wave soon, though. Um, 1.3, for these events, it has progress bars, like, down the corner, so that you can actually see how close you are to um, beating the event. And so that... That's going to be really useful. Oh, we're about two-thirds of the way there or so. Yep, come on. Come on, Ice Queen. Come on. Where are you? Come on. Kill this Everstream quickly, quickly, quickly. Send in some pumpkins. That was a bad idea because there's rockets. Come on. I should have gotten, like, a bunny statue or something and a goldfish statue uh, to send in or, or uh more tough mob statue thing. There we go. Wave 11, Ice Queen, Flocko, Zombie Elf, and Gingerbread Man. Where's the Ice Queen? Where's the Ice Queen? If we beat this wave, it's the same thing as being the Ice Queen. But, ooh, Flocko. Come on, where's that Ice Queen? Come on, where is she? Where is she? Um, send in the pumpkins to seek her. I think she'll come in after we beat the uh, Santa or something. And an Everstream has fallen. Where's the Ice Queen, though? I don't see the Ice Queen. Hmm. We got to the stage with her, but shh. There's a Flocko. There's the Ice Queen! She has... There she is. Oh, she is attacking. Let's heal up. Already healed up. Um, I'm gonna send in some Pumpkin Minions to deal with her. 34,000 health. Come here, Ice Queen. Come here, Slime Banner. Come here. Send in the Pumpkins. Let's get out there and fight her ourselves. Come on, Ice Queen! Show me what- Oh, gosh! Dang it, we died. D dang it, that's not good. 
Now she's going to be coming after us at her own house, probably, or something. Um, hmm. Well then, yep, hello, Mrs. Ice Queen. Uh, quick, Carly, heal me. Thank you. Oh, NPCs are dying. Who cares? We're going to be leaving anyways. Come on, Ice Queen. Sitting in the vampire knives. Let's kill her. Kill her dead. Oh, watch out for that. Come on, I could have avoided that. Where is our razor pine? There we go. That'll get her. That'll show her. Come on. Fly. Fight, 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 fight. Back to the arena. There's some more pumpkins. Going to get her. Send in the other pumpkins. Or the Ice Queen. Uh, Mega Shark. Just fire at her in her general direction. Who cares about ammo? Um, there we go. Oh, let's use our Terror Blade. Because Terror Blades are good. Terror Blades do damage. Come on. Where is she? Where is she? Ice Queen. Ice Queen. She fled! We beat the Ice Queen! We beat the Frost Moon, guys! Totally beat the Frost Moon. Let's head back to the arena, actually. Um, wh what did we reach last time? I think we reached Wave 15 last time. It would have been more efficient if I had more Critical Strike and better accessories, but anyways, I I'll still take it, because we, we beat the Ice Queen, sort of. Yeah, close enough. It depends. Let's just go check on what we got, and then we'll make the final verdict. Um, anyways, yeah, I'm I'm gonna call it good. We fought the Frost Moon twice. Uh, we survived for the most part. I just made a stupid rash decision at the last moment, and that's what got us killed. Um, but F Ice Queen fled, and that's technically being defeated. So yeah, we beat the Frost Moon in the 1.3 let's play we'll actually beat it like reach wave 20 and I think I was perfectly able to actually beat it I just didn't oh dang it dang it dang it um go on get in there there we go turn it all off all right let's check out our loots with a Z oh my goodness okay unicorn horn do we get any actually actual rare loot come on Where's it? I see a tombstone. Let's check what we got. I don't know if we got anything good, but oh well, we beat stuff. Um, no, no rare loot. Oh well. But anyways, we fought the Frost Moon. We beat the Frost Moon. The Ice Queen fled. We encountered the Ice Queen. So yeah, we did stuff. Anyways, guys, that's everything we have to do for Terraria 1.2. We're done. We are done. So I will send in. I'll upload a final um, w uh, world download tonight, and you guys can have the world and the character to do with as you wish. Let's just, I don't know, it's saying goodbye. Steampunker's here. Her name is Zelda. wonder what that's a reference to. But yeah, we're just going to have to say goodbye to this world. It was fun. There's a world tour. It's episode 50, though. Let's see, what all do we have? We have... The um, key mold farm. We have the living tree. We have the uh, mummy farm for the onk charm. We have the massive frostman farm. The underground jungle. The plantera arena. The artificial going mushroom biome. The uh, the temple. Um, what else is there? The the pumpkin moon arena. Uh, the elevator. Our house. The the floating islands. Floating Island with the truffle on it, the metro station, the one metro line, the very first arena from when we fought the Eye of Cthulhu, I believe, the second artificial mushroom biome that didn't work. We have the dungeon, we have finally the ocean arena, and the massive hell bridge with our hell lake. I don't know of anybody else that has a lake in the underworld. It's pretty cool that we do. And that's all I'm going to say about that. But yeah. Anyways, guys. Thank you all so much for tuning into this series. Making it the main staple of my channel. And making it what has made my YouTube channel successful. Here's to 1.3. May it be just as popular, just as fun, and just as memorable as 1.2. Um, this was fun. This was certainly a ride. And I really enjoyed it. So thank you guys all very much for watching. 
whether it's this episode, the last episode, or the entire series, no matter how long you've been a part of this channel, thank you. And that's all I've got to say. Thanks for watching this episode of Terraria 1.2, episode 105, the final episode of this channel, the longest running series, the most popular series, and my favorite series. Soon to be replaced with 1.3, many good things are to come. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, then be sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel for some more awesome content. We're so close to 5,000 5, subscribers. I will, I will see you guys in 1.3. Goodbye.